Howdy guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at the main differences between the horizontal and vertical text that can be found under the design central panel. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and also we have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on working with text, and I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to the differences, other than the fact that one is written horizontally and one vertically, is um, under the, the Design Central, if we have our text selected, then uh, the character, this area will stay the same. If I switch between these two, you might notice unless obviously we've changed fonts and so forth but all the other um, elements we get here is the same however if we go to the paragraph tab then we will see that uh, all these top settings here will be different so for instance uh, if we look at the alignment obviously it's going to be from left to right and center and so forth now if we had to go to the vertical now, obviously, the text, as you can see, it's flipped it. Now it's from top to bar, um, top to center, and so forth. So this will flip. So basically, everything that was um, uh, one way with the vertical, I mean with the horizontal, will be flipped once we go to the um, vertical text. Same with the letters. If it's from or text left to right, we select this this one, then it will be text top to bottom it makes sense but it's just good to be aware of it especially when you're playing with um, the line um, left to right and right to um, left we've covered this in the previous tutorial where you can actually um, when you press enter to go to a new line with the default of the vertical text it will throw the line to the left but then you just want to swap it so it goes from the right to the left if you want your words to carry on to the right now that is just on your base um, uh, text differences. Now when it comes to the box select or the block select where you want to um, isolate or limit your, your text within a block, then there is also a few differences. So for instance, if we go to the paragraph. Once again, the first ones will all be the same. The paragraph now, you'll see we have these two extra ones. So if we go to the normal vertical text, you'll see it's not there go to the block and now we have these two extra options at the bottom now this is great because um let's say we take our text we make a block selection and then uh, let's go test um, text and you see like let's say we want to change the block size because now if we click off it and we go back to our text it's a bit tricky because you cannot really select this to change it and that is where the design central comes in handy so now we can go to the side here and then we can see those two little arrows now if we increase this then obviously it increases our block and we can decrease it as well so there we go and then what we've got under that is basically how um, far the first line is going to start from the beginning so we can increase this or decrease it so now obviously if you press enter then there will be a new line so you can kind of center it more to your block without um, too much trouble so that is great because because you obviously cannot really set the um the blocks beginning and that's where this comes in handy you can obviously select your text and rearrange it but if you want to do it without rearranging it then you can simply just um, adjust it yeah to the starting line so if you've adjusted the end, you can always adjust. You can say in many ways the starting point. So if you've got graphics and it's too close to it, you can always just increase this. Otherwise, that is it on the main differences between um, horizontal and vertical text. So if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the video you're looking for, you can always go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we will make that video for you. 
But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.